I want to show you how you can use Google Sheets to do a Monte Carlo simulation of a capital budgeting project. Now I've done this in Excel and it's different in Google Sheets and it took me quite a while to figure out how to do this so I thought I would share this with you. So let's assume we have a project that cost half a million dollars. The average cash flow each year is going to be a hundred thousand with a standard deviation of fifteen thousand and we're going to assume the project lasts for ten years and the weighted average cost of capital is ten percent. Now in your standard introductory finance class you'll just assume that they're all a hundred thousand the cash flows and you simply find the present value of this in fact it's an annuity and then you subtract out the cost and you get the net present value. Here we're going to let the cash flows fluctuate so that they're not always a hundred thousand each year. Now the first cash flow in year zero or the, um, the uh, cost is half a million so that's given. Now how about the rest of the cash flows? Here we're going to have them fluctuate and we're going to use a function called norm inverse. Now what norm inverse does is it generates this random variable with um, whatever mean you have in standard deviation and you put in some value for X and that X if it changes is going to give you a different number. Now if we just put in one number like 0.2 we get the same answer each time. Now fortunately in Google Sheets as well as in Excel, so this is the same as you would do it in Excel, you put R-A-N-D, random, open parenthesis, close parenthesis, and it's going to produce a number between 0 and 1, uh, uniform distribution. So each time it uh, changes, it'll give you a different mean and uh, value for the cash flow. So the mean is going to be 100,000, and we're going to put a dollar sign here to lock the cell. And here the standard deviation is 15,000. And again, I'm going to put a dollar sign in before the 5 to lock the cell. And I get uh, here less than um, uh, 100,000, 76,000. In fact, let me make this a dollar amount and let me just get rid of the um, pennies. And each time I change things, you notice the number changes. So let me copy this down for the 10 years and you can see that sometimes you're over 100, sometimes you're under 100, etc. So if we want to calculate the NPV, we can use the NPV function and you should note the NPV function doesn't actually calculate NPV and I've discussed this in many videos I've done. Whoever coded it the first time in Excel did it incorrectly and in order for the versions to be backwards compatible they've all done it incorrectly and Google Sheets wants to be backwards compatible with Excel versions as well so it doesn't work that way what it does is it calculates the present value of the cash flow so we're gonna to have to subtract out the cost separately so the discount rate is 10 percent right here and the cash flow, so we're going to start with the year one cash flow and go down to year 10. Close the parenthesis and then we're going to subtract out the cost or add it because it's negative. And we get an NPV of 148,271.84. We can get rid of those pennies. And let's calculate the IRR as well. So here we put in all the values, including the costs, and we copy this down here, and we close it up. We get 16%. Let's just expand the decimal place a couple of places. All right, so you can see we have these random cash flows, but what we'd really like to do is do this a hundred times, a thousand times, that's what you do in a Monte Carlo simulation to see what the NPV is actually going to be. So in 
Excel, you use the what if function and you create a data table. Well, you don't have that in Google Sheets. So what I found is there's a function called risk solver. Now, if you don't have it, you can go to add-ons, get add-ons, and just type in risk solver and it'll pop up and you can install it. Okay, I already have it installed here. So what I want to do is this is going to be the NPV replication one so I can I can see what I have. So I'm going to put in my NPV right there and I'm going to put in my IRR right here so I, I can see what I have. Okay, so I have the values here and I'm going to go to Risk Solver so I'm going to go to Extensions, Risk Solver, and I'm going to say Start. So it gives you a choice of adding distributions. You don't want to do that. If you put in a distribution, what's going to happen is if you put in, for example, the normal distribution, it's going to give you standard normal. So that means mean of zero and standard deviation of one. And that's not what you want. You want to have you want to see what the mean NPV is and the mean IRR happen to be. So you have to add output. So if you've done this before, I'm going to remove this. So my output here, I'm going to do the NPV one first. And I'm going to say add output. And that's in C8. And then you also have this some settings here and you can tell it how many replications you want to do and some other things. Okay, I'm going to hit this green arrow for go and it's going to do a simulation for me. It's going to do it a thousand times, I hope. And it's going to give me some descriptive statistics. It's going to give me the mean and the standard deviation and the range, etc. So if I click this on here, you can see that I get some values here. Okay, a little hard to read, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to an empty cell. I'm going to go to cell, let's say, right here, and I'm going to say copy to sheet. Okay, now that I've copied it to the sheet, I can, you know, adjust these values here. Um, make a dollar sign, you know, dollar values, let me get rid of those, right? minimum, maximum, and the range. I can I can do things like that. So again, I'll get rid of those pennies. And you can see what we get. We get a mean of 113,000, almost 114,000, standard deviation of uh, 30,682. Now, if I want to do the IRR, so let me put this in. Let me just say it's NPV. So now I want to do IRR. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go to Extension, Risk Solver, and we're going to say Output. And we're going to get rid of this. This is the old sheet. And we're going to go to this one, this IRR, and we're going to say Add Output, which is in C9. And then again, we're going to run it. And you can see we get some different values. So let me just uh, find a spot in my spreadsheet where I can um, put this. Let me just slide over here. And I will put this, uh, say, right here. And again, copy to sheet. And I'll get rid of that. And these are percentages. So looks pretty good. Let's see here. And this is the minimum, the maximum, and the range. Same thing. And you can see, and this is IRR. So how does this measure up to a spreadsheet I did in Excel? Let's see. Pretty good. Okay, the NPV was uh, 114. 114,828. Here it's 113,820. Over here with the um, the IRR, 15.12. Here I have 15.10. So looks pretty good. And 
it's a nice way to do this. Um, there's really nothing that I've seen where anybody shows you how to do the Monte Carlo simulation using Google Sheets. There are quite a few that show you how to do it in Excel. So I hope you found this, you find this useful.